air Good. for the remainder of tonight. That's a little awesome. bit gray, so you can head out there for dinner for sure. And probably not too crowded out there because we've had the rain around for most of the day, but it is moving away. And you can see the rain over Graham over the last several hours. The wet streets triad receiving beneficial rain out there today on the order of a half of an inch to in some cases close to an inch of rain. Your evening forecast does have a spotty shower chance in it, especially for the eastern part of the triad. And then we may see a little bit of fog as well over the foothills and the mountains for the late evening hours. Our temperatures are a little cool. They're close to 60 degrees. The high this afternoon made it up to 65, so a bit chilly for October. And we've got some more cool air in the forecast. It warms up tomorrow into the upper 70s, but then check this out. We are close to 70 Tuesday and Wednesday, which is near normal. Then highs drop on Thursday. High temperatures are only in the low 60s, which is about where we are now. We've got 60 in Winston Salem, 64 in Lexington and Greensboro. Look at the 50s in Martinsville and Danville, and the temperatures, of course, have come down considerably since yesterday. Some 15 to 20 degrees cooler out there. You see some of the rain running right along this stalled out front, so we're actually glad the front decided to slow down because it brings us the rain. There's a chance for a few isolated thunderstorms in our easternmost counties, but really right along I-95 is going to be the best chance for storms. And we actually do have a little bit of lightning there in the southern part of Randolph County. Let me show you the leftover rain in our area. A spotty light rain shower near the community of Anderson, farther to the south over Alamance County. You see rain exiting there in the eastern part of the county. And then we do have the lightning around Seagrove. This thunderstorm putting down some heavy downpours, and it is on the move those. So our best rain chances for the next few hours are going to be across Alamance and Randolph counties. But these are the areas that have seen at least some rain today. I know mountains and foothills really not getting a whole lot out of this, but check out across the northern part of the Piedmont, the lightest amounts, about a tenth of an inch. But in some cases, especially as you come south down toward Winston-Salem and Greensboro, you're averaging about a half of an inch of rain today along that I-40 corridor and then moving south and west down into Davidson County about a quarter to a half of an inch from Moxville to Lexington. And then you're seeing some of the heaviest rainfall totals that are near an inch over southern Davidson as well as southern Randolph counties. And as we go through the evening, as I mentioned, our best rain chances are going to be south and east. If you're in the triad and over the mountains and foothills, most of this rain is over, but there will be fog and clouds. It'll still be kind of gloomy out there and a little chilly. Heading overnight, there's a passing shower chance late tonight. Then the clouds start to push away. We will look for dry conditions in your Monday forecast. So by early tomorrow morning, we're clearing, but it is cool with a low of 52. We will start in the foothills in the upper 40s tomorrow morning, so definitely light jackets in the mountains. Our temperatures are in the mid 40s as we start the day, and visibility is going to be an issue mainly overnight. So folks that do have to commute or maybe you're up and about overnight and you do have to do some driving, keep in mind that that's when we expect to see most of the fog, the thickest across the area. This, for instance, is about 3 a.m and you can see visibility is close to a mile or less across the triad. By early morning, though, that thick blanket of clouds should be exiting, and we do have some sunshine in the forecast for your Monday. Light northwest wind, high of 78. We're up to 76 in the foothills, also that northwest wind. We've got sunshine in 70 in the mountains. As we look ahead, there's another front heading our way. It is going to bring in a rain chance late Tuesday. We'll knock the temperatures down. We've got scattered showers in the forecast for Wednesday, so more measurable rain, we hope. And then look at the chill in the air with highs in the 60s and nights in the 40s for the latter half of the week.